want to go first? No, you can. Okay. I am from Aurora, originally. I got hired at Central City to teach second grade. Here we are, nine years later, I'm still here. I was only gonna be here for a year or two, but probably becoming a lifer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was born and raised here. Never really left Central City, don't have any real desire, desire to. to. The city is not for us. After high school, I went to SCC at Milford, and now I work for the city. He didn't tell me he was a meter reader, but you know, I say, I'm Abby Griffith, and he instantly knew where I lived, mm -hmm. which is weird. <laughs> I said, I live, you know, right across from the fitness center. And he's thinking, oh yeah, I know where you yeah. live. I, I have to read your meter every month. How long have you guys been dating? Not very long. We met last August. Mm -hmm. We met out at the golf course. I was golfing. You were helping with something else. What was it? Oh, the putt-putt mm -hmm. contest. It was like the Central City Wrestling Tournament. But he was drinking, and he doesn't remember meeting yeah. me. She had to remind me of how we met. I went in to grab some more beer before we started the back nine. And I stopped and talked to her by the putting green there. I don't really remember that. I just remember being in the clubhouse and I thought he was his brother, Miles. And it was funny, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but you walked away and Ashley goes, what about Taylor Butt? Why didn't you take him? And I was like, <laughs> no, you never, no, he's too quiet. You never told me that. My friend Whitney, she's always said from the beginning of us getting together that he has calmed the storm a bit. But I can't say that I've made him come out of his shell anymore. I don't talk a lot. <laughs> I know. She added me on Facebook after that, and that's how I thought we originally met. It's like, oh, she just added me on Facebook. That's what he thought for months. <laughs> We had this whole conversation, and he thinks I'm just creeping on him on Facebook. Well, she kind of was. <laughs> Rightfully so. <laughs> you were cute. Yeah. But he actually, he messaged me first. I did. I think I asked her, it was just some how's it going? How was your day? Yeah, I was like, what are you up to? Or something like that. Something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get to know him, but it was like pulling teeth to get him to hang out with me or to do something with me. He's Mr. Non-Committal over here. I think I told one or two friends, like, I'm kind of talking to this guy, but he won't hang out with me, so I'm not, like, you know, putting all my eggs in one basket or anything. I had a little bit too much to yeah. drink and I messaged him and I was like, you want to take me to go look at Christmas lights? Like knowing that he grew up here so he knew where all the good lights were. He came and picked me up because he knew where I lived. Creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you asked me, do you know where I live? I said, yeah. Red flag. <laughs> I, I think you asked me, I said, <laughs> yeah. I, break in with an ass. I was like, yeah, I know where you live. What was your first impression when you first met? You go first. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's loud. Yeah, <laughs> she was loud. Outspoken, like to speak her mind. Anything else? Oh, you're cute. <gasps> Thanks. Attractive. Ooh. My first impression of you. He was cute. I liked his red beard. Mm hmm. I thought you were quiet. Just kind of likes to sit back and watch things. I thought, oh, this guy, he can follow me around for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I knew right away that I wanted to marry him. I he didn't, did not. I didn't he know did right not. away. <laughs> well, I was, I was nervous. I think he was nervous, but I think like he had lived the bachelor life for so long. Mm -hmm. That was kind of like, oh man, this this chick like wants to hang out with <laughs> me. Know. She wants to do stuff with me. Like. I don't know if I'm ready to give that up, you know? And I was yeah. like, dude, just take me to look at Christmas lights. I'm not asking to marry you yet. Why 
why did you want to keep seeing each other? You go. Let's hear you. Uh, I, no, first. you go first. I went first okay. last time. All right. Well, I just talk and talk and talk. Yeah. I think the more we started talking to each other, we were raised very similarly. Similar morals, values. Like, it just kind of made sense. I think a lot of people were worried about us, that we'd ever find anybody. Yeah. Yeah, like my you mom know. was worried that I'd never get married. I should have a really good speech after 35 years of planning it. We were wondering if this day was going to happen, and uh, <laughs> it finally did. I have a beard now, and he's finally married. No, I'm very happy for him and Abby, and I never met Abby's dad, but I think he would be very happy and proud of the life you guys are going to start. So. If you were not lucky enough to be at the wedding tonight, I did a really, really good job. I'm uh, Abby's man of honor. I fluffed her dress. I almost pulled her veil out of her hair. I'm a rookie and I did the best I could. You're so pretty. <laughs> I am very excited for her about the relationship she's made here in this town. No, some of you are a problem. You know who you are. Yeah, some of you are problematic. But no, I am, I am tickled about the life that you guys have created here, and uh, I'm excited for you guys and what's to come. Abby, you look amazing. It's hard to show that kind of emotion because this is my first time on this side of the bride. It's hard to be as excited to match whatever this is. Everybody touch somebody and laugh. <laughs> What are you most looking forward to? Seeing you in your dress. Ugh. Can't wait for that. He's so impatient. He's been asking me for months, can I see a picture? You think I could go see it? No! Yeah? You cannot see my dress. I think I'm most excited for our first look. My dad passed away, and so my brother is walking me down the aisle, and I think Walking down the aisle, I will have different emotions. So I'm more excited for you to see me for the first time. Oh my gosh. You look beautiful. Oh. Abby <laughs> Joe, you look beautiful. Let me, let me do a number for you. you are oh, there's a bug in it. I don't know, it's just, it's time, it's unique. We found each other, we know yeah. it's what we want. Yeah. Hashtag three month engagement. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is the person I pictured myself marrying. I think my dad would really like him. And that's not why I picked you, but. <laughs> No, I think you treat me like a princess. You take care of me. And you like to hunt and do all the manly things that yeah. he would have liked. <laughs> yeah. I just wish that he could have met you. Andrew and Tyler, you are wanted. Andrew and Tyler will be taking the place of the late Andrew. I think Dad would have liked you. Uh, he would have been very interested in why you're so quiet. And he would have done everything he could to bust through that. He would have asked a million questions about where you're from and who your family is. And he would have made all those connections. I stopped out and saw him this morning and we conferred and you're good. He would have liked you a lot.
on behalf of Tyler and Abby, I want to thank each one of you to come out here in this beautiful windy day to enjoy a very special ceremony between two people that you have loved and supported for many, many years. Who gives Abby to be married to Tyler? Her mother and I. The tendency today in our culture is to look at marriage with a consumer mindset. At what is it I can get out of it? And if I don't get as much as I want, then I'll just choose to walk away. Some people think marriage is this beautiful box full of all the things that they've dreamed of. Friendship, loyalty, love. But honestly, when you guys start, it's an empty box. There's no love in marriage there's no friendship, there's no loyalty, you have to infuse that into your marriage. Because if you take more out than you put in, the box becomes empty. So remember, you're glued together, not stuck together. You're to humble yourself and put more into that box than you take out. And lastly, I just want to remind you that this isn't something you can do on your own strength. Joyce and I did not survive 48 years on our own strength. God had to be a part of that. God's the one that has to give you the strength to love one another when they're not the most lovable. The more we fall in love with Jesus, the more we fall in love with our spouse. May God richly bless you guys in your marriage. By the authority given to me, by the state of Nebraska, and more importantly, by God as a minister of his church. Pronounce you, Abby, you, Tyler, husband and wife. Abby, mm -hmm. you may kiss your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Butt. I looked at rings back in March, and I was kind of feeling her out, getting some ideas what she liked, what she didn't like. I guess he called his mom and said, hey, I got a ring, and Wendy was talking to his sister Haley, and she goes, well, he's got a ring, Haley. I wonder when he's going to propose, and Haley was like, mom, you're crazy if you think he's holding on to that ring. He's proposing tonight. <laughs> <You know>? like... <laughs> so I was sitting there, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it tonight at golf, at couples league, getting it over with. I finally told the gals we were golfing with, like, hey, I'm going to propose to Abby. Well, when I was in the bathroom, I came out and they were all like huddled around the car and I was like, what's going on? And then we were on the last hole and this was just my first summer golfing. He was like down on one knee and I thought he was just lining my putt up. And I was like, no, why are we pretending that I am a real golfer? And I walked away from him. Yeah. And he was already down on one knee, gonna propose. So he stood up and he went and got me and brought me back. And were you nervous? I was nervous. We started golfing and that's I wasn't even thinking about golf. He proposed and right after he proposed, I said, "Is that why you golf like shit?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's gonna get too crazy partying? I'm gonna say probably Miles. I was just saying my <laughs> brother Miles would probably be the first one. Yeah, Miles probably will yeah, be Miles the one to let loose. Miles for sure.